this is your feel-good breakfast show, Expresso. We're live on three. Well, it is the holiday season, which means everyone's coming to visit the family, the friends, and we want to make sure that our homes are not just a space where they can feel at home too, but we want to make it easy for them to live with us. In our studio this morning, Matana Katz, our art director. Welcome, man. Good to see you. Well, here comes the family. Everyone's pulling in suitcases, children, even sometimes animals. What do we do? Help. <laughs> Exactly. So I love having family and friends come stay over. Mm -hmm. But the key thing to remember is you want to make it as comfortable for them as possible. And also make them feel that they are welcome mm -hmm. and that they're not in your way. So I've got a few tips to really help with that whole process. So the first thing is um, making a spare key and cleaning. Cleaning is very important. You want to get rid of all the dust and all the rooms that your guests are going to be in. You know, make it really nice and comfortable for them and then give them a spare key. You ha even have one made if you don't have one because at least your guests can come in and out as they please and they're not going to feel like they're inconveniencing you in any way. So that's always really two important things to remember. What about Wi-Fi? I mean, I think of how I travel to people's homes or even to guest houses and exactly. you want to be online. Exactly. Some people are too shy to ask. So you want to try to think of all their questions ahead of time. Right. So if someone is coming and you know they, they need access access to work emails and things like that, or they, their family from overseas and they want access to Facebook, to their family and friends, um, give them a Wi-Fi password. This will really just help make them feel more comfortable and at home and at ease as well with contacting who they need to contact. What about storage space? So I mean, they come with all their luggage. Yeah, that's really important. <laughs> you want to like think of all those factors. So mm -hmm. you clean out a cupboard space for them and some drawers. They can pack their clothes out. No one wants to live out of a suitcase for two weeks or whatever. Um, have somewhere that they can put their suitcase away so it's not in the way. Um, you know, clean bathroom surface so that there's space for them to put their own stuff down. So just really think of all those little things just to help them feel more comfortable and at home. Sometimes, you know, uh, reserve a cupboard for the guests and the rest mm. are just locked because you don't want people scratching your stuff either. Um, what about comfort? Okay, comfort. I always like to put extra pillows and blankets on a bed in the bedroom. Um, this just really helps them make them feel more ho at home and yeah. cozy and just that little bit of love and care that's been put into it for them. And then it's always nice if they are cold in the night, you know, they have everything there so they don't need to ask you. What about linen and towels? So linen and towels, make sure you put those things in the bathrooms, change the, the bed linen on the sheets, make it really fresh and comfortable for them. Um, clean towels, enough clean towels they have, they don't have to come and ask you. Cause like I said- a pool you towel wanna... as well? Like something that they can use? Yes, think the of like a pool towel, think of like a hand towel in the yeah. bathroom, something that you can put on the floor for them, like a bath mat or something. So mm. they have everything they need, once again. What about toiletries? Because I mean, sometimes you travel and half your stuff's at home. Like you want to kind of use your guest shampoo or you want to exactly. use, you know, where you're going to live. Yeah. Exactly. So sometimes people also forget things. Like the worst is forgetting a toothbrush or toothpaste and then you have to go and ask for it. And you don't want to do that. So just eliminate all awkward questions. Make sure there is toilet paper, there is an extra, uh, like a brand new toothbrush, toothpaste, um, any kind of like small little shampoo conditioner you can put in the bathrooms for them so that everything's there ahead of time for them. So they don't need to ask you. I always have a giggle when you're in the hotels and you open the drawer and the New Testament's lying there. What can you put up for your guests to read? <laughs> so reading material, think um, light read. So magazines and books. Um, stick to those. I think that would be the safest option to go for, definitely. But it's always nice to have it lying around, especially yeah. if they want to go and relax in their room. They have something to read and to look at while they're not with you. Don't you find that when you visit people's homes, you get really hungry because they eat at certain times, you know? Exactly. Can you put snacks out for the guests or... Like something to drink. <laughs> I think it's very important to make sure that you supply enough tea and coffee and basic essentials like that in your kitchen. Um, and then when your guests come, actually take them into the kitchen and show them and say, you know, I've put aside this tea and coffee for you. Here's milk. Help yourself whenever you want so that they feel obliged to and not mm. have to ask you. Because once again, people, some people hate asking for things and you don't want to have that. No, and then snacks, not. you know, I, I love putting little um, little biscuits or rusks in their actual bedroom so they no. can eat it all I want if they mango want strips. to. Just put mango strips out. <laughs> <laughs> Mango strips. Okay, we'll remember that for you. Okay, well, there's all kinds of things that you can do, and Matano's so good at it. Whether it's fresh flowers or candles that you add, there's so much that you can do to make just sure that your guests are happy this coming season. And if they really complain, just send them to a hotel and let them pay for it <laughs> themselves. <laughs> but it's so exciting to have the family over. It is the festive season. I'm talking about the festive season and also not just living in our own spaces, but traveling. Eco-consciousness has become part of our lifestyles, not just when you're on the road, but in everything that we do. Well, there's so many choices out there, and I think the one person that probably knows how to do and handle this is Lisa Raleigh. We'll take a look.